anywhere, period. That's Gennady Golovkin. His job tonight against a fighter in Willie Monroe Jr., who it's very difficult to look good at. Golovkin winks at referee Jack Reese. Same referee who produced the stoppage. Longest tour of duty in the knockout streak. Murray was sturdy. Golovkin ulti hands and left hooks upstairs. Now he has a harder target to find. Feeling Monroe out before he unleashes the heavy artillery. Well, he's feeling Monroe's jab right early. Jabs and slipped in a left hand across the top. He thinks, uh, thought he was going to fit him out because Monroe would get too comfortable. At the if... beginning, now Golovkin begins to open up and fire some heavy shots. And there's a hard right hand by Golovkin. Yeah, Boom mm. knows what it is to be hit with a brick. His only loss, Willie Monroe Jr. Come up through the ranks and fought Darnell Boone has either lost or nearly lost. Golovkin landed a short right hand inside. A little, it's a primary weapon against southpaw fighters for most conventional fighters. Good body shot by Monroe. Pretty good punches. Golovkin just missing to the side of Flash Monroe. Some good defense so far in this first round, Roy. Avoiding those shots without wasting much energy, turning his shoulder. Avoid being hit by the big shots. I, I see so far Golovkin outboxing Monroe. Just because he's the guy coming forward, landing the heavy artillery doesn't mean he count has landed twice as many punches as Monroe in round number one. Stop. Hold punch. Step away from each other. Uh. Shoot that body. Touch his body a little bit. Right? 15 power shots by CompuBox count. None of them were of the A plus. artist. He's not only heavy-handed, he's skillful and precise. Crowd losing Oz at the body shot to the belt line by Golovkin. Said in the meeting with us yesterday, well, Golovkin will have trouble cutting off the ring on me. The biggest problem Monroe has is he hasn't hit Golovkin with anything like Max said earlier. And when he can have free range target practice, that's what happens. Down goes Monroe. He shot to the seven, cheekbone, six, and down went Willie seven, Monroe. Eight, are you okay? Trying to get his legs back. His legs are not back. But like I said, he's giving him a little extra time here. Yes, but you can't let Golovkin have free range target practice at you because he's going to catch you sooner or later. Oh, Golovkin had a wide open shot with a left hook and missed it. He could have once again traps Monroe in the corner. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Golovkin won't give him room to think. It's constantly keeping the pressure on. Now he goes Monroe for the second time. We've got a minute still to go in round number two. Golovkin trying to match those with a second round knockout of his own. The crowd is getting its money for Of course they are, Jim. They came to see the Lovkin's got 46 seconds oh. left in the round. Oh, good shot the by Monroe. The best shot that Monroe's landed this fight is that left up. Lands a second left uppercut. And Gennady shakes it off and comes back. Right hand. One more shot upstairs. There it is. Overhand right. Hurt him really bad. But Gennady's being very careful because he knows that Monroe is trying to catch him as well. So if Gennady being very smart here. Monroe showing big heart, not just fighting to survive, not just tying him up, throwing punches stop, back. Stop, 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 yeah, bring those up. Ten seconds, Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. Stop, stop, and Golovkin would run the end of round two, but he knocked him down twice. How are you doing, brother? You good? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Oh, gotta move, baby. Don't stand up. Keep the up. Up. left hook to the head. You saw that coming because he was allowing Golovkin to stalk. But in it, he can stalk like this. He's bound to catch it with something big soon. Beautiful left hook. Right Knocking on Monroe down twice. Golovkin landed 24 yeah, Stays up, and Triple G could counter the left hook. Good combination the possible because his head stays up and his like hands that. go down. Yeah, he counters the, the right hook from Monroe, Monroe with his own Monroe left hook. land much of anything until Triple G hurt him. Monroe was hurt. I don't think it's that Monroe was hitting him anything hard. He wasn't hitting him much, period. Triple G's defense has looked really good tonight. The power all punches to get respect or he won't be in this fight low. There you go. Yeah. Golovkin has been looking to the body this round. Now throws two upstairs. That's a nice body shot by Monroe. Now, you have to make him respect you or he'll continue to walk through your punches until he gets the knockout. Monroe getting his best 
offense in since Triple G hurt him. Hit you back at least. And you got to watch that left hook from Triple G because Triple G trying to set it up again. Hurt him. And he may be right about that. We know Golovkin cannot be. He took a couple of punches from Rubio and Curtis Steele. No, but these are not pity pats he's been throwing this round so far, Monroe. Well, and ripping to the body as well as he can. A couple of body Angela. shots of his own. And I think that was a good body shot by Golovkin just now. Landed for Gennady. Another straight right hand lands for Gennady. Leaping in to try to get Because when he comes up high to move, it's when he gives Gennady a chance to hit. But movement is his game. I understand that. Moving and fight. Tough punching. Makes it out of round three. Lovkin in the third round, 24 out of 56. Monroe, 14 out of 50 seconds, 24 landed punches were power shot. To fight in the middle of the ring, he's had more success. Well, he hit Gennady with a really good right hook to the body early, but he didn't follow it up. If he'd have followed it, make it tough for him. The minor upset already that Monroe's here firing back in the fourth round after the way he looked in that second. Big shots Monroe's hitting Golovkin That's exactly with right. That's exactly right. He just looked at him and told him, come on. And sometimes that can be a confidence taker. He tells you to come on anyway. I don't care how good. And Willie Monroe is putting forth here in round number four. The Unreal. Yeah, the Muslims has a heart. He may not make it through the rest of the fight, but he certainly earned Guys, the love and respect. He yes, is he flying. Great. Round four was a Herculean effort for Willie Monroe. shot that I want to see, but you got to be a little busy. You can't let him work like that, all right? Throwing punches, through a jab, and follow with a beautiful straight left hand. Probably one of the hardest shots in the straight left hand. CompuBox numbers were very even in that round. Golovkin was 30 of 63. Monroe... I agree with Harold. I mean... Oh, uppercut lands for Golovkin. Seemed to hurt Willie Monroe. Maybe academic, but... Oh! oh. Hook how to hurt. Hand hurt really bad, Jim. And that's because he's not punching. When he's punching, he does hunt you like this. Look at the hard left hand by Monroe. I mean, Monroe is hitting Golovkin. With sure. Golovkin's head is snapping and the sweat is flying. And Golovkin is in a fight. Don't get it. You can't let him just come at you free range or free will. You have to make him avoid you or avoid your power punches before he... Golovkin once again motioning to him like, come on. Come on. Keep firing. You know, with one-two combination from Monroe. It's up to like two dozen real hard taken in the last couple rounds. And Monroe has avoided, I mean, has abandoned the body attack, but he should have attack is just as tired as he is. Abel Sanchez wants more activity. He appears to be visibly slowing down in the fifth round. Now he gets in two body shots. They've both done some good body work at points in this fight. And now Monroe against the ropes. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Hard shot by Monroe. Now. Yeah, but those pity pat punches will get him caught with a big shot if he's not careful. And you don't want to swap one big shot. He's making the night work, though. Don't get it twisted. That's a shot that often does damage for him. Hard like Lovkin just to keep punching you like that. Lovkin got a little... Went a little Instead of really working the body, and it may have preserved Monroe's legs for this point in the fight. In the last minute or so, Golovkin seems to have... Now, you haven't been using the jab. I want to see a little better jab even if at the shoulders. Keep close, moving your head, hands up, and dig his fucking ass. Dig his ass! Our punches through five. 226, 47%. Monroe, about half as many. 56 Golovkin took over the punch count leadership in the last round oh. again. Heard it with Great a right uppercut. Hook. Right uppercut hurt him really Great bad, Jack. Monroe again. Yeah, right uppercut. Right against the ropes. Oh, right uppercut hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. There were two knockdowns in the Four, second round six, here in the sixth. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You just beat it. Move faster. He you want to continue? Jim. His legs are you gone. You want to continue? His legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe, sixth round technical knockout for Gennady Golovkin. Maybe he tantalized future opponents, but at the end of the day, it's knockout number 20. And I guess, Roy Jones, you're going to tell me that was a wise decision. Uh, as a fighter, you don't want to see a fighter have to make that decision. 
be whether the ref or his corner have realized that he was done. So I thought it was wise on his part to tell yeah, the ref, do, do a right uppercut, followed by a left uppercut to the neck, an overhand right to the top of the head. That hurt him really bad. Missed him, with, came back with another overhand right that hurt him a little bit after taking a jab. And this is what I meant by when I said so he, he, took a, 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 he gave a jab to take a big shot. Then that left uppercut hurt him really bad right there. Followed by that left hook right there, right behind the ear. That really was the finishing punch to me. He had his opponent done to an overhand right, followed by a left hook. Now he smells blood. He's on the attack, and he will not let up because he's relentless. Knockout number 20 in oh, a row. Jeff, that's what started all the drama. That big left uppercut hurt him really bad. Hit it. That really finished matters, and now it was just a matter of time. And if you've ever heard the, the winner by TKO victory, and still undefeated, and still the middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G.